Hello and welcome to Gadget Joe and today we take a look at the Fractal Design Meshify S2. The S2 is a part of the aptly named Meshify series, named for the angular mesh panel on the front. The chassis resembles the immensely popular Define S2 footprint, albeit with some slight styling changes and that's what we're going to take a look at today. As always, before we take a look at the chassis itself, we will take a look at the box. And it's pretty standard here with a big brown box covered in black ink. The front features a large image of the chassis itself and really emphasises the shape and design of that angled front plate. On the side you get a product spec list and a cooling capacity list. On the rear you get some basic information about the S2 alongside a blown up image showcasing the modular aspects of the case. Now that we have the box out of the way, let's turn our attention to the chassis itself. And if first impressions were the key factor, then Fractal have certainly pulled it off with this one. Featuring sharp but minimalistic lines throughout. Full size glass panel with a little bezel on the top and bottom and that almost psychedelic angled mesh panel that fills the entire front. Plain Mac black throughout with no LED lighting strips to be seen anywhere, it certainly carries off a premium, classy and elegant feel that combined with the chrome accents such as the feet and Fractal badge, at the bottom makes it a case that you wouldn't feel out of place even in the most expensive backdrops. Some may say it's not very exciting to look at, but personally that's a look I quite like as it forces you to pay particular attention to the system that's inside the case. Starting with the front you get that large mesh panel which looks fantastic, but also serves a purpose of superb airflow through the chassis. That fractal design badge on the bottom left is a nice touch too. The edges of the panel are surrounded in a plastic angled bezel that also gives the appearance of making the mesh look like it's floating. What's more is the mesh will allow lighting to shine through too if you do have fans that have got LEDs on them. Carrying on with the externals of the S2, we turn our focus to the top of the chassis. On the top of the front panel you get the I.O. panel which features audio, mic, USB Type-C, power button, reset and twin USB 3 ports. An interesting thing to note here is the fact that the panel is located on the front panel rather than the actual chassis, which some people won't be a fan of, but we can certainly see why they have done it here, for practicality and space saving efforts. On the top of the S2 you get a large full length mesh grille. This one however isn't angled like the front. Removing it is super easy by pressing this large button on the rear here and it simply pops up out of place and then you can remove it. Underneath you can see the angle design once again, so there is some continuity in the design here. This is where the ingenuity and the practicality of the S2 shine strongest. To remove this panel you will need a screwdriver and undo these four screws. After this you can then lift the panel away and out of its brackets which in turn leaves you with this large metal plate with individual spacing for up to three 120 or 140mm fans with a large airspace between. The hole is used for easy filling of a custom loop reservoir. On here you can mount up to a 360 or a 420 radiator too. At the rear of the S2 it's the usual layout with a space for a 120mm rear exhaust fan, I.O. cutout and 7 horizontal expansion slots. To the right are an additional 2 vertical slots for side mounting your GPU. This is protected with a screwed panel for extra strength and security. Below this is your PSU mount. This features a removable plate that you can take off a chassis, secure to the PSU itself and then slide the entire setup back in and secure once again to avoid the fiddly job of positioning your PSU in the system. Now we turn to the right hand side of the rear of the case and you are presented with a single matte black panel that can be removed via thumb screws to reveal a large spacious area with lots of room for storage, mounting, PSU, cable management and more. Along the left hand side you get three hard drive caddies that can be removed via thumb screws. In the bottom one you get the accessories box too. The trays can hold either a 2.5 or 3.5 inch hard drive in each. Once in place they simply slot back in and screw into position. Going back to the accessories box you get the usual fractal contents on the side which is actually something more manufacturers should do. Inside you get a bag with a SATA power extenders, a cleaning cloth for the glass panels, a bag containing everything else from screws, standoffs and cable ties. Move to the centre and you get a fractal fan header that features outputs for up to an extra 8 fans and this can be controlled via a PWM header and powered by SATA power. 
Moving to the base you see the large PSU shroud with plenty of space to work in and moving up again you get a further two SSD trays that remove via the thumb screws. Mount the drive on the tray and slot back into place and then secure. Last but not least we finally turn our attention to the business side of things. Removing the glass panel is simple as lifting the panel away. The panels are secured into place with a notched pin. Inside the S2 you are treated to a significant working area that looks nice and clean. Something which is quite difficult to achieve on what is a pretty standard layout. Across the bottom you get a full length PSU shroud and a nice deep workspace with lots of high quality rubber grommets and mounting points. The S2 supports up to a full size EATX motherboard. Those aforementioned rubber grommets are really nice quality with a good level of stiffness to them. However, when you have an EATX board they will be slightly covered up. At the rear you can see the included 140mm rat fan mounted for the rear exhaust. Moving down you get those 7 expansion slots and 2 vertical mounting slots. That full length PSU shroud has a slight angle to it which is really effective at reducing the boxy feel of a conventional shroud. On the right of it you get a nice clear imprinted fractal design logo that gives it a very premium look. The shroud is much more than just a PSU cover too as you have a panel that can be removed for installing large radiators or reservoirs and then ventilation at the top and another grommet for cable management. To the front you can see the extra two 140mm included fans mounted in place. There is support for up to 280 or 360mm radiators and three 140 or 120mm fans here. There is enough space inside for a CPU colour of up to an impressive 185mm in height and a generous 440mm maximum length GPU too. The Meshify S2 by Fractal Design is certainly a very attractive chassis and it not only looks the part but it performs well too with plentiful fan and radiator compatibility. Space for up to 5 storage devices, easy mounting options with that removable tray, fantastic air ventilation, modern angular aesthetic, lots of deep working space, all in a chassis that sits at a not particularly tall 465mm but a decently wide 538mm width and a 230mm depth is all the reasons we are more than happy to award it our Gadget Joe Gold Award. The Meshify S2 is a stunning chassis to build in, however the only thing that stops it getting on platinum is a slightly higher priced £139.99 price tag, but then you are getting a very premium, well thought out, well made and substantial case that looks very attractive. As always I will leave a link down below as to where you can get your hands on your own and don't forget to click like, subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.